welcome to Foodie Lounge, presented by IndiaInTracks.com and Suleka.com. Myself, Levin Johnson, and I've got Arjun here to assist me making this recipe. Today's recipe is going to be Mean Moili. It's a specialty coming in from Kerala. So I'm just going to quickly run through the ingredients to make Mean Moili. 100 grams of fish cubes, which is the sear. You could have shredded ginger, 10 grams. Sliced shallots, 15 grams. Sliced green chilies, 8 grams. Curry leaves, 5 grams. Coconut oil, 30 ml. Turmeric powder, 15 grams. Coconut milk. You gotta make sure this is the first extract. So whatever comes out from the first time you squeeze in, so that's the first extract, coconut milk, 200 ml. Lemon juice, 10 ml. And salt to season. To start our, our dish, mean moili, we're going to marinate this fish here. So we're gonna mix it here. Arjun is gonna help me mix it all and leave it to marinate for a few minutes before we get started. So we got turmeric going in. Lemon juice, just half of the lemon juice we got, and a bit of salt. What we're going to start off doing at the moment now is we're going to start off tempering some of this here. So we start with um, coconut oil, there goes the ginger, green chilies, and the sliced shallots. Throw in curry leaves. You gotta wait till the onions get translucent, nice and soft. You could start to get the flavors of the coconut oil and the broiling of the curry leaves. At this stage, you could add in some turmeric powder. It is a yellow curry, so uh, you could add in turmeric just for the color and the flavor. You can throw in the fish just gently. The trick is to just seal the fish and then you can put in the coconut milk. So just spread the fish along the way. Lower the flame at this point, don't want to really burn the onion. Just one turn and then you could have a bit of lemon juice. And the last thing to go is the coconut milk. The trick here to make sure the gravy doesn't curdle, you have to do it on a very slow flame and the ratio of the lemon juice and the coconut milk. Add the seasoning. So keep stirring it. Leave it for five minutes. Don't really have to put the lid on, uh, fish being so tender. But if you really want to rush it, constant stirring is a must to make sure it doesn't curdle. Uh, as I said, to make sure that it doesn't curdle, there are a few things that you got to be very careful about. One is the temperature at which you're cooking. It shouldn't be boiling, otherwise it starts to curdle really quick. You won't have any control on it at all. So the temperature has to be low. Uh, put the lid on and then just stir the sauce and not the fish otherwise the fish is going to break and uh, while that's happening here we're going to broil off some curry leaves to garnish get the pan on have some coconut oil wait till you get the fumes and just when it's right you can just throw in to broil you can feel chisel Put this on the side. It's come beautifully here without being curdled. You see that it's all just nicely combined. And this dish, as a simple dish, doesn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes. And you gotta be careful when you're putting into the dish here. Just lift all the pieces one by one onto the dish. It tends to break, and it's also going to be easy for you to portion. And after you got the fish all in, just pour the sauce on and then just drop the curry leaves that you had for garnish and we got mean moili from Kerala and serve it hot. Mm -hmm. 